Welcome to this IR Sidekick livery tutorial. IR Sidekick is a name for a group of utility modules. The name means iRacing Sidekick. Livery is the third utility module, it is an alternative to the Trading Paints downloader. Note, don't run both the Trading Paints downloader and IR Sidekick livery at the same time. Use one program or the other. The key features are 1. Faster than the Trading Paints downloader. 2. Provides a more informative user interface. 3. All downloading and file actions are performed asynchronously, so the user interface never locks up. 4. The program options are simple and easy to understand. 5. Each driver's, car suit and helmet livery can be viewed. The user interface has four tabs at the top, and a status bar at the bottom. The main livery tab, displays the list of drivers in the current session. The car, number, decal, spec map, suit and helmet livery, will be downloaded asynchronously in the background, the status bar provides a visual progress indicator. When each driver's livery has been downloaded, IR Sidekick livery will instruct iRacing to refresh the driver livery. You can click on a row to select that driver. If the livery for that driver has finished downloading, it will be displayed on the right. There are three livery views to choose from. All, which shows the car, suit and helmet. Car, which only shows the car. Driver, which shows the suit and helmet. The livery view you select will be remembered and automatically selected each time the program is launched. The car image has a context menu accessed via the right mouse button. The first option opens the tutorial playlist in the default browser. The second option opens a larger view of the livery. The third option initiates downloading the latest livery for the selected driver. This is useful if you change your livery on the Trading Paints website. The fourth option is used to remove all livery. It's a quick and easy way to clean out livery files from the iRacing Paint folder. This option respects the Keep My Livery option. Let's go through the status bar content. The internet connection status is displayed as online or offline. The iRacing SDK status is displayed as started, running or stopped. The session strength of field value is displayed. The number of drivers in the session is displayed. Finally we have the download progress bar. It displays the number of files already downloaded, and the total number of files to be downloaded. A blue background progress bar gives a visual representation of download progress. The event tab provides information specific to this session event. The metrics tab provides information about the livery file count, the total download size and time taken, the total decompressed size and time taken. You may notice the download time is longer than the time it took to download and render all livery. That's due to concurrent downloading. The Options tab contains settings. The Start Minimized option minimizes the user interface when the program is first launched. The Keep My Livery Locally option prevents my livery from being deleted after each race. This enables the iRacing user interface to display your local livery. The Delete Downloaded Livery option minimizes disk space usage. Note, this setting respects the Keep My Livery Locally setting. There is a hyperlink, click on it to view the tutorial playlist in the default browser.